Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a mix with the high low pass filter. So we're gonna do a basic filter mix. So the high low pass filter is located here on this controller. Most controllers have this feature nowadays. Uh, so if you have this feature, it's really awesome to be able to help you do some really seamless mixes and you can do some really cool stuff with the filter. So just as a review with the high low pass filter, when you go towards the low side, which is the left side, you're letting the low frequencies pass through. And when you go towards the right side, you're letting more and more of the high frequencies pass through. So here's an example. Okay, so that's low. And you can still hear it a little bit on this controller because it's not complete kill. Uh, so you're hearing some of that, uh, which in this case, you would also then if you were doing a mix like that, you'd want to like kill the bass, you know, if you wanted to completely kill the sound. So that's just something to note and test that out on your controller to see if yours is complete kill or not, because if it's not, you're going to have to add the EQ in a little bit more. And so here's going towards the highs. Now we're letting the high frequencies pass through. And same thing, it's not complete kill. You can hear just a little bit. I don't know if you guys can hear that, uh, but I hear it, so. Okay, so for this mix, we're gonna start with this all the way up. It's gonna be playing out, right, on the dance floor. And then we're gonna take the filter and we're gonna start uh, on this side, the Raka song. We're gonna start it right about here, just so we can hear it a little more prominently in the headphones. It isn't complete kill, so I can hear a little bit of it, but with this song playing, it's gonna be buried and you're not gonna be able to hear it. So you want to have at least a little bit going so you can hear. And then I'm gonna start bringing this up. As I get to about maybe like two o'clock, then I'm gonna start bringing this bass down. So it's kind of like the bass switch we did up here, but now we're doing it with the filter knob and just like that and get to nine o'clock, you know, and then you can either leave it there or you can do more bass. And then we're gonna start bringing this out. So by out, I mean up and then out. So it's gonna fade and only let the highs pass through on this side. Uh, you can do uh, also, you could do it, you know, just like this, kind of like you do the bass switch but I'm showing you this just to add the bass into the mix so that you have another idea of how you can use it. So it's not just the standard, you know, filter switch. So here we go. And these are already beat matched from last time. So I'm just gonna press play. Make sure the cue is on on this side. Make sure it's on. And then I'm gonna start bringing this up. I can do it a little faster because it's just the highs, just the filter. Okay, now. And now switching the bass. And now this high pass filter. So that is a high low pass filter mix incorporating the bass as well for you to try. So I encourage you to experiment and stuff with uh, this and try it with different ways with the EQ and just come up with some really creative ideas. But that's pretty standard as how you would use it and it's, it's very useful across a lot of different genres. Uh, and if you notice, it's a very smooth mix and it'll actually get you out of some sketchy situations sometimes if you're, you know, it's like a weird mix or like um, maybe some keys are clashing towards the end. And uh, if you use the high low pass filter in your mix, it'll help blend things together a bit more and cut out some of those frequencies 
and uh, maybe some keys that might be clashing with something else uh, if that happens. Um, so it might save your butt a few times. So it's a good thing to learn. If you want to learn more, check out the next video.